Welcome to our channel. In this session, we are going to discuss about loop optimization. What is mean by optimization? Simply removing unnecessary lines of the code from the program to improve the performance. Once the performance is increased means it utilizes less number of resources and save the memory and execute the code very fast. Now in this session we are going to perform this optimization on loop. What is a loop? Loop is used for repeating some set of statements multiple number of times. So the different techniques for loop optimization. First one code motion. Code motion means simply moving the code outside of the loop. Moving the code outside of the loop. Which code we are moving inside a loop? If you are writing a code, suppose if the code does not depends on the loop, such code is moved outside. Consider one example, you will understand clearly. For i is equal to 1, i less than or equal to 10, i plus plus, x is equal to 10, print f, some percentage d i. Here observe the program. Here the loop is repeated from 1 to 10. In the first iteration, x value is equal to 10, the i value 1 printed. In the next iteration, x is equal to 10, i is equal to 2. In the next iteration, x is equal to 10, i is equal to 3. Observe, for all the 10 iterations, the x value is not modified. Yes or no? That means, this is the statement that does not depends on the loop. How to optimize? Code motion means move the statements outside of the loop that does not depends on the loop. Now optimization in the sense simply remove this code and place outside. Now how many number of times it is executed? Instead of executing the statement 10 times executed only one time clear the point code motion moving the unnecessary moving the independent looping statement outside of the loop second one is induction variable induction variable elimination what is mean by induction variable? Some unnecessary variables within the loop. If you are using some additional variables, even though you are not using that variables, there is no problem. We need to eliminate such variable. I will explain. I1 is equal to 0. I2 is equal to 0. For I is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus a of i1 plus plus is equal to b of i2 plus plus now observe the loop is repeated from n number of them 0 to n minus 1 in the first iteration a0 is equal to b0 next iteration a1 is equal to b1 so the loop is repeated all the times each and every time i value is incremented by 1, i1 is incremented by 1, i2 is incremented by 1. Here I am using 3 variables. Now, how do we optimize the code? Simply, for i is equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus, a of i is equal to b of i. See this one? That means here I am removing the variable i1 and i2. Even though you are removed the variable, there is no problem. Program executed successfully. Induction variable. That means unnecessarily we are using the variable. Each and every iteration we need to update three variables. Instead of three updations, here I am using only one updation. Okay.
is called induction variable. Move to the next one. Third one is code, sorry, loop. Loop merging, also called as loop fusion, any name. Either loop merging or loop fusion. Meaning is, suppose you have using two single single loops. If we are merging the two loops, if there is no problem. Consider one example, you will get the complete idea. For i is equal to 1, i less than n, i plus plus, a of i is equal to i plus 1. Now, for j is equal to 1, j less than n, j plus plus, some b of j is equal to j minus 1. Assume this is my program. Here this is one single for loop. Within this one we are performing one operation. This is another for loop. We are performing this operation. So instead of writing these two for loops, almost they are doing the same operation. Observe the loop is repeated from 1 to n. Here also the loop is repeated from 1 to n. Here just we are assigning one value. Here also just we are assigning one value. So such type of cases occur. We are merging. So combine the loops. How do we combine? For i is equal to 1, i less than n, i plus plus. See this one. A of i is equal to i plus 1. B of i is equal to i minus 1. No problem. J value 1 to n. I value is also 1 to n. So, this is the merging of loop. If you are merging in the loop in the system, the performance is automatically increased. Instead of executing two loops, you are executing only one loop. This is called loop merging. And the next one is, the last one is, loop unrolling unrolling in the sense suppose we are writing a loop within the loop if you written simple code if you are written some small piece or a simple code inside a loop even though if there is no loop if you are executing very fast see this one for i is equal to 1 i less than or equal to 3 i plus plus printf high. This is my program. A loop consists of some simple code and the code is repeated only three times. Loop unrolling means consider a loop with a simple code and executed less number of times. Instead of writing the loop, simply remove the loop. Printf high. Printf high. Printf high. Okay. Instead of writing the loop for simple code with minimum number of times, directly write the code. This is called loop unrolling. And another variation is also there. Another variation is also there. For example, uh, if you have a loop, the loop is repeated from i is equal to 1, i less than or equal to 200. Here I am calling some function. So, within the loop, I am calling one function. How many number of times we are calling? 200 times. How to optimize the code in the sense? Reduce the number of iterations. Second approach is reduce the number of iterations. See this one? For i is equal to 1, i less than or equal to 100, I plus plus C A L C call C A L C. The first one call 100 times, second one call 100 times, total 200. But we are reducing the number of iterations. So either you can reduce the number of iterations or remove the loop and write the simplified code without any loop. That is called loop unrolling. 
these are the different variations used for loop optimization thank you